All right then, Terry, uh, it's been a good week for you so far. Four signings, three loans and one permanent. Yeah, it has. It's, um, you know, it's been a sort of couple of weeks in the making. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, but first, we'd like to thank Hugh Jenkins, uh, along with Gary Monk and uh, Christian O'Leary, uh, because they've um, really helped us out with letting us have so many players from one team. So, um, helped us out before with uh, Sean McDonald, so there is a relationship there. And um, no, just really pleased. I think the most important thing is, is that because the squad's been so threadbare, I mean, there's been times we've had three outfield players on the bench. and. Um, it's not ideal for, first of all, morale, second of all, competition, to make sure that the team then plays better because, you know, we've had one or two where we'll have a good game and then the next game we've been below par, but then people still get picked because there's been no one else here. So, we've created that little bit of competition now so that people are going to be looking around to see who's on the bench and who maybe not be on the bench, never mind in the starting team. Um, with the people that we've got coming back to fitness with... Um, Joel Grant and uh, Liam Davis and Nathan Ralph all tra uh, training. We've had 20 outfield players and we've not had that for a long time. So, you know, the first sort of real full week we've had working with them to get that ground contact time, meaning hours on the training field and minutes on the training field. Um, it's been really pleasing. And the big news uh, today is that uh, Byron Webster is back. Yeah, Byron, I mean, it's sort of great bit of business getting him back. Um, there was a few other League One teams that was interested in him that of course are higher up than us but it's a, a real good testament for the for the lad wanting to come back and play for us so um, he, he sort of turned down another couple of opportunities to come to us um, you know the chairman sort of dealt with the, the the other side of things making sure it happened and I think between the two clubs we're really both happy with um, the deal with bringing Byron in. And with the players that have come in this week is it going to be a, a different side to face dueling him on Saturday. I don't want to give too much away, but we've been we've been working. We've done a little, you know, quite a bit of work on the shape today. Um, but there's been different personnel in. We've been chopping and changing it, so just keeping it fresh to let the players know that they've got to be on their toes. And it was a real positive day today, real good training day. And we need to make sure now that we're that we're winning games, and it starts now. We've got, you know, the majority now of the squad that we're looking, and then maybe maybe one more. Um, we might be looking to bring in but that might be at a later date but this is it now and this is a squad that we've got and we've got to make sure that we start digging out results. You say you might be looking for one more, what area are you looking in for that? Um, someone that plays on the pitch, uh, <laughs> don't want to give too much away but um, no, it's, there's one that we've been talking to and it's just um, if something happens there which would be a, a free transfer we'd be, we'd be more than happy to bring in. So looking ahead to the weekend, you're facing Gillingham there on the back of a big 40 win over MK Dons and also they're the form team in League One. It's not going to be an easy game at all. No, it's not. And, uh, you know, Justin Edmonds has come in there and done a fantastic job. They were just teetering in and around the um, relegation places and they've really pulled clear. So they've got some real dangerous players. Um, we've done our homework. We know the way they play. And um, looking out there with the, the weather, we're hoping that the rain doesn't continue like this all throughout and make the game a little bit of a a wash out because we want to we want to keep playing the way that we have been doing and um, trying to entertain the fans and hopefully with the the supporters get behind us like they have done first of all in the the home game that we had but the two away games they were they were great as well so um, thanks for them for travelling up for them two games which was difficult back to back um, from a midweek and a Saturday game hopefully they've rested and they've uh, recovered and they can bring their vocal cords, making sure they get behind the team and, and create that atmosphere that we've had in the last home game. And what are you going to be expecting for Gillingham? Because they've recently changed their manager, as you mentioned, and uh, they've had a positive uh, result from that. Um, might you be looking for a similar effect here? Yes, definitely. I mean, listen, it was a real positive first game, um, and then it was two tricky games. Crew had been on the, the back of a great run, and we got beat by the one goal there. And then Doncaster, from winning five in the week, was was a real tough game and um, but we dealt with that we got through it and um, we've had a full week to work you know from last Saturday and the, the two days before taking over we just went straight into games and uh, there wasn't much time to um, you know to work on the change of shape that we did have and now with this week that we've had it's been it's just been a real positive and we need to make sure that we we take that into the, the Gillingham game but we know you know, they've got some real good players. The boy Dak at the moment is 
who plays behind the front two. He's really been coming up with assists. Uh, you know, they've got a handful up front with Marquis as well that holds the ball up well. And, and they've got goals in the team. And uh, we need to make sure that we stop that. That's why we brought uh, Byron back in to, to bring in that sort of leader character that's been with us before and knows what we're wanting. And, and also, we need to make sure that we're scoring goals. And with Joel Grant back now, along with Gozzi, James Hayter, and uh, Adam Morgan's had a couple of fantastic um, recent days in training. He's getting fitter every day. He's also getting closer to a start as well. You've had a bit of time to now to work with the players since Gary Johnson's left. Have you have you seen a good reaction from them? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, with a there was change, and then, and then when it comes with change, there's a there's a fallout, and um, we had to sort of deal with that. Everything turned around really quick, and then you're making decisions, and you know, it's it's been a real um, it's been a, a hard week which was the week leading up to the end of the Doncaster game. But now things have settled down. You know, we've been even talking with the media staff and going the way that we want to move forward. And um, things have, have, you know, taken their course now. But now it's just the calmness is there. There's no, you know, press about it anymore. And the, it's all sort of died down. And now we've just got to get on with our jobs. And that's what, that's what we want to do as a staff and as a football club is just to get on with things and, and make sure that at the end of the... Uh, the game Saturday, we've got three points under our belt. I was uh, looking at the fixtures uh, for March, obviously you've got Gillingham and, and Scunthorpe coming up in February, but in March, other than Bristol City and Oldham, of the six teams you're playing, four of them are in the bottom half, they're, they're kind of their bouts where you are. Um, yeah, that's going to be a big month for you, isn't it? And that's why we've brought these players in, because we, um, we don't want to be threadbare going into these games. And we're, we're Coming up we've got three home games in a week, and then we've got two real sort of tough away games. Uh, back to back with uh, Leighton Orient and Colchester. So for us it was to bolster the squad, um, make sure that we're not missing the likes of Gillett, Dawson, you know, Chris Will that's been out. Um, they're, they're sort of the longer term ones, Jakob Sokolik. We've got to make sure that we've got a fully fit squad to pick from, good competition and that could only breed well for the club in the future because we need to make sure that we're fit and flying and we've got to start getting results and that's the most important thing for the club. As we look outside the, the weather's it's, it's pouring it down out there. Has, has training been tough this week? No, because it, the last two days have been absolutely beautiful sunshine, so it's been really nice. But the day we picked to, to go down to our training ground and, uh, and use that, because we've got a fantastic 3G or 4G, whatever the surface is out there. With, um, um, but we like to use the grass as well. We don't like particularly to stay on there too long. So we went down there today and... Uh, and the weather come in and absolutely battered us. That's why I come up a little bit late because I needed a shower. I was freezing. But the players liked it. It's a it's a great complex, and you know you're locked away from everyone. No one you got no prying eyes looking at you, and you can just get on with your work. And we've done that this week. And just finally, um, how are you finding life as uh, as manager again of Yeovil? Yeah, well, it's, the situation couldn't have been any tougher um, to to walk into. But I embrace it. I love a challenge and not scared of anything. And you know I've been working. Um, alongside with you know, the chairman and, uh, and Mr Haywood as well and they've told me exactly what they want me to do um, so they've made it particularly clear to me, they've helped us as well, they've helped the football club with the players that we've been able to bring in and we've got to make sure that everybody pulls together now and that includes the staff, the supporters to make sure that Hewish Park is that fortress again and it's a good time to start on Saturday. Thank you. Uh, you used the word about positivity about five or six times in this interview. That seems to be your buzzword at the moment. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't sort of sit here, bottom of the league, and say it's all rubbish and it's negative and we're never going to get success. Um, every time I've been here or been in these situations before, people don't want to see anybody else or you know a leader being down. They want to see someone who's up for it, and that means in every minute of every day. And if anyone's negative around me, I will check them on it and say, leave the room, don't talk to me, I don't want to hear any stuff like that because that's to drag you down. And, uh, and some people might say that we're not going to do it and we're doomed and we're relegated, but you know, that's, that's people that wouldn't be able to necessarily be able to do that in their own life. And it's easy to come up with a negative, but it's hard to be positive all the time. And you know, I've seen, I watch a lot of the Premier League um, years and when you look at the managers down there and the clubs that are down there, genuinely the ones that come through it are ones that come in with a positive spin and a positive way of thinking 
and passing that along to the players. I remember when, I think it was when Gus Poyet first took over at Sunderland, I watched that one recently, and I think they had Chelsea, Man City, they had one of the toughest run-ins ever, and because of his positivity, they got out of that situation. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to make sure that everyone around you, that positivity that I've got and that Darren Way's got and the goalkeeping coach, Gareth Stewart, rubs off on even people like yourselves. Um, but most importantly, the players. To know that they can go out there, they can play with freedom and with confidence to get a result because you definitely can't play with fear and edginess and get results.